Well, it's a beautiful Mother's Day in the land of Rancho Max. Claim 80 today. I don't know if it'll get that, but they claim it. I don't know what the rest of the day be like, but we're on a mission. Knife deliveries. Knife pickups. It's a never-ending story. Stand by. Well, I'm at the Lowe's in Chesapeake. Waiting for the first pickup. I should say only pickup. Then I gotta drop off some. Guy's supposed to be here in uh, three minutes. With something. I don't know what. I just know knives. Well, I feel like a teenager. I've been stood up. I've been here 15, 18 minutes. I'm hitting the road. No knives at Lowe's. I'm headed to uh, Wawa to get some gas on my way home. This is a Wawa that's about 12 to 15 miles from where I live. My gas at home was 209. I don't know what this Wawa here is going to be, but I'm going to take a chance it's going to be cheaper. We'll have to see. Coming into view now. 207. So I saved two bigger cent today. I burned that much up hunting knives that it never people never showed up. God. I think I'll take this one right here. Perfecto. While I'm getting a little juice, we take a look at the last set of knives we picked up. It's some Henkels. Some Henkel Internationals and this chicken right here. I don't know what this is. International. International, I think. I can't see the. Oh, it's old. Hard to tell. That little tip work on that one. Eight of them. Yes, yeah, international. This is unknown, but it's got a tip too. A little tip chip. And last but not least is a little para. I don't know what that is, but you can see the handles are getting in kind of bad shape from the dishwasher. Almost like the ones I sent back for that lady. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, they're all finished, all polished and all sharpened up. Now I gotta go sharpen me up. Mother's Day, Mexican. We're going to a Mexican place for Mother's Day. See you in a little while. Uh oh, there's Big Old Jack. He's outside. Right. And the squeaky, squeak box is starving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't believe it. You poor baby. I wouldn't have guessed there. What are you doing in the sunshine there? Don't they have, don't they have chicken? You got a suntan? <laughs> huh? Big boo boo? Where are you going? That bowl is kind of bleak you got there. Hey, why are you squeaking? There's nothing in that bowl, Duffy. We're headed home. All the knives are dropped off. We had lunch at the Taste Unlimited store. 
got a call from a guy that's bringing us some chef's knives in about a half hour when we get home. He says they're four Japanese knives. I don't know what that means until I see them. But won't be long, we'll see them. I'll get back to you. Well, the guy was at my house driving Mercedes when I left. He's got uh, two shuns. Or oh, shoes, I should say. Shoes. I can't stay shoes. I've been saying them wrong so long. A big old Wushtoff. And a Santuco Wushtoff. And the sun's in relatively good shape. One's got one little chip right there, and that's it. They just need a little clean up, and then they're duller than molasses. Okay. We got something for tomorrow. He don't want them till 2 o'clock. So we got time to go for a spin today, I think. I want to check with a mumbles man now. I guess this thing's even on. I don't know. I better look. Yeah, it is. Well, as I was putting my stuff in the gear, Chris said, wait, wait, I got a trick I need to show you. I said, what kind of trick? She said, I got some bushes we need to pull up. Well, the key word was pull. There's one, two, three, she said. Then she said, no, I got two more over here. Oh, God. So a little rope, a little chain, and a Colorado. I'm done. Mumbles man just texted me he can't go. So I'm mumbling myself now which, what to do. I'll get back to you in a minute and let you know. Well, about 20 minutes has passed since I shot the last video. And I just got a telephone call from the guy in Chesapeake that was supposed to meet me at the Lowe's yesterday. He said, are you home? He says, I'm coming your way with those knives. So I guess spinning is out of the question, unless he gets here real soon. Ice cream truck. I have to wait around a minute and see how long before he gets here. I can work on the bay. The tide's, you know, an hour later on the bay, but it's rough on the bay today. Still rough. Been rough for four days on the bay. And you can't tell it from here, but it is. We'll see how it goes. Stand by a few minutes. Well, that's ten minutes each side with the uh, 3M stripper. Or it, no, this was the uh, Norton you can see Dexter now, that's it. D-E-X-T-E-R. No polish yet, no more buffing yet. I haven't done that, I'm just taking the rust off. The rivets are cleaned up. It might be 1568. No, I'm pretty sure it's 1588. More or more. Honey dues. Pyracantha. She got some thorns on her, buddy. Chris has gone next door to. Lady lives next door to us in this house right here. She's 93 or 4, I don't know. Lives by herself. I don't think she's doing very well today. Chris has been talking to her. But she's mumbling quite a bit. So she's going over there to check on her. We have a break in the action. I like breaks in this kind of action. Well, that's a nut from John Beaver. He went to... Uh, well, I shouldn't say he went to. He is in the Outer Banks visiting his sister at a house in, I'm not sure, somewhere in Nags Head, maybe Corolla, I don't know. Anyway, these are taken in Corolla. He went to the Corolla yesterday. Go, going back today, I haven't got those pictures. That's the picture of the beach. You can see it's really wide. He didn't find much, he said. 
wild horses, you see them? That place is full of wild horses, Corolla. You can't get near them, they give you a big fine. Pretty. They roam all up and down the beach. Nice, isn't it? I like it. There it is. Outer Banks Corolla, sister-in-law. So you get to see some ocean anyway. How's she doing? Chris is back from the neighbor's house. Where'd she go to? Stand by. How's she doing? Check on her tomorrow. It took us all this time. 